Recently, we watched the first two episodes of Lessons in Chemistry. This is a TV series over on Apple TV with Brie Larson leading the project, and it basically sees a young woman who is getting her PhD in chemistry who is in the 1960s and has to deal with a lot of sexism in her profession. Basically, we see that there's all sorts of tragedies that cause her to not be able to continue with her PhD and she ends up becoming a lab technician while also facing tons of discrimination there. She also gets thrown into certain stereotypes and they try to force her into what they think a woman's role should be. For example, there's this situation where there is a like beauty pageant that she gets uh, thrusted into even though she doesn't want to be part of it and later on she gets reprimanded by the you know woman who runs the thing saying that you know just because you don't care doesn't mean that you know we don't care at the end of the day and you always try to act like you're better than us etc when in reality she just seemingly isn't the type of girl who would want to be in a beauty pageant which is perfectly fine because not all women are the same these types of themes and story elements are what run through this show very deeply it's very clear that this entire show is supposed to be a kind of feminist messaging about what it was like to live during that time period and how you can get across lessons in everything in unique ways for various people. So, for example, she ends up being able to do a cooking show, and she's very good at cooking because she uses her chemistry brain in order to make things like a perfect lasagna. However, she also can utilize her new platform in order to kind of advocate for various different aspects or things that she believes in. She also has the capability of educating other women that are watching her show in things like chemistry and can get the message across in a way that is unique to her and is unique to, you know, women in this time period. It also is a way that she can kind of skirt around all of the roadblocks that have been put in her way that try to stop her from engaging in chemistry and basically use the kitchen that she was forced into as a tool to get back at the people that put her there and use it as a tool to educate and to try to bring everybody into the cool world of science. And I think that this is a really interesting premise overall because it is true that, you know, when people are unable to learn or unable to do a certain thing, you have to find certain ways to skirt around those. Like, for example, you know, I have an, uh, a lot of Irish ancestry in my family. And so, of course, you know, when the Irish were, uh, you know, overran, they basically were told you can't dance. So what did they do? They came up with the Irish jig in order to still dance and get across what they wanted to do without necessarily being seen or, you know, easily thwarted by their enemies. This is similar to her cook show. It gives her a place that she can still get across all of the messages that she wants while not having to face the backlash because she's still in what, you know, the role that she's supposed to be, so to speak. Now, we have only watched the first two episodes as that's all that has come out so far. The entire thing does deal with a lot of also dark aspects. There is some uh, essay within the show, so there is definitely some intense aspects of that, and it kind of shows how those types of things can play negatively on other people in your life when you don't come out and talk to them about it, and also, you know, it shows how it weighs down on the mental of her as well, as well as the people around her. The acting is superb, the shots are very good, and the writing all feels very natural, touching on these dark, dark subjects in ways that I think is very effective. But as the show continues on, we will definitely come back and review more and give you more of our thoughts as this is, of course, our first impressions. So what do you guys think? Did you guys see this show? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know specifically what you liked or disliked about it. Besides that, you can follow us uh, here for more movie news and reviews. You can follow us on gaming sessions for gaming content, movie sessions for movie trailer content, uh, and we have the Try Podcast for our podcast channel, and we have a Discord link below that you can join us uh you know to talk about movies or video games all right guys i'll see you all in the next one today's news three little pigs have just built a house of straw <laughs> you ain't blowing down now you ain't blowing
Saying you ain't blowing down shit so. Set I up and I buff just to blow the walls down I suppose another wall just to keep me on the ground I ain't trying to take a live, I'm just trying to stay around But these demons in my head, yeah, they never backing down Set I up and I buff just to blow the walls down I suppose another wall just to keep me on the keep me on